Welcome back, everybody. We are having a windstorm. If you get that sound in the audio, I do apologize. I can imagine that all of you are having a very stressful time this week with everything that's going on in the world. And I don't know if it's because of what I do for a living or if everybody is experiencing this, but all day long I seem to be getting text messages and emails from friends sharing all the bad news in the world. And I think it's worthwhile that if we are sending those out, maybe we might consider stopping because we probably should assume that everybody is watching the news right now. And wow, that wind is crazy. The good thing about the wind is that when it blows, we get a blue sky out here in the Pacific Northwest and it's a beautiful blue sky today. I'm going to go out a little bit later and I'm sure I'll be blown off the road, but at least it will be a blue sky when I do it. Anyways, I would encourage you to today take a little break. I'm not saying don't know what's going on in the world. Maybe read the news or watch the news in the morning and maybe again in the evening. But during your day, take a little break because it's really easy to get dragged down with all the negativity and fear that's going on in the world. And we stop to just notice all the beauty that's around us, all the goodness that is happening between strangers and friends helping one another out. So one of the things that I've done this week and last week, in fact, was I bought myself some flowers. I love tulips and so I wanted to have something that made me feel bright and happy and cheerful in my house. And so I bought myself some flowers. Maybe there's something that you can do for yourself to cheer yourself up and make you feel a little bit more grateful for the good things in life. Another thing I'm doing is that I am planting some seed, well, sorry, you could probably hear it. I'm planting some seedlings this weekend for my garden this summer. And I'll be planting some peppers and some tomatoes. Last year I received a paving stone for my garden and I can't remember the exact quote, but it was something along the line of, the one who plants a garden believes in hope. And so anything that you can do to tend to your garden, to think about the future in a positive way, will help to alleviate some of those fears that you're experiencing right now, if you are experiencing fear. And if you're not, you're one of the few. But if you are feeling fear, just know that that's normal and we're all experiencing it. And even in that, we can feel connected to one another. The thing about fear is that it tends to multiply. And I know this from experience because when I was 20, I had some anticipatory anxiety and panic attacks. And then I started to anticipate having panic attacks and I ended up agoraphobic for a year. I did manage to come back out and, and live in the world and thrive through the help of a really good counselor and a lot of hard work. But what I learned through that process was that I, I think that we have to look at our fears and consider even that worst case scenario, how likely is it to happen? And the thing is, it is not very likely to happen. That is why it's the worst case scenario. Then think about what is it you want to do? Do you want to panic buy toilet paper? Or do you want to make sure that you have told everyone that you love that you love them? Ooh, sorry. The wind is actually making my um, camera shake. So I do apologize for that. We'll just call it really hip handheld camera movement, shall we? So my point is, so what is my point? My point is that examine your worst fear. When we realize that it may be really catastrophic but unlikely, then we can prepare for that in a measured and calm way. Use this coming week within your capacity if you are in a lockdown to do something that you've never done before that maybe you wanted to. Like if you wanted to sing for the city, get out on your balcony and sing like they've been doing in Italy. Because whatever emotion it is, whether it is fear or it is gratitude, it will grow. Find things that make you happy, my friends. Do things you've always wanted to do and make this time of fear a heightened time of joy and gratitude instead.
And believe me, it can be done. For what are you most grateful today?